FAQ schema generator. I am going to show you how to instantly create rich snippets and structured data for your FAQ builder on your site. Any blog post, any website, whether it's WordPress or anything else. Let's quickly do it right now. First of all, if you saw this video on the first page of YouTube or Google ranked and you want to know how I did that, check my course below and I show you step by step everything I do in every video campaign so that I can get top rankings. Now let's dive into the content. So right here, we're going to go ahead and click create project. We're going to say what we want the project to be. Let's uh, have this project be about a plumber. So we're going to click next. And then we have uh, two options here. We can create content or we can create an FAQ builder. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in the keyword that we want for our FAQ. So we're going to say plumber. And then we choose any city out there in the country. Let's say New York. And then we're going to get questions. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to pull in the top four, five, six questions uh, that people are ranking for on Google inside of this app. So right here, what does a plumber do? How much a plumber makes in New York City? Do you need a license to be a plumber in New York? Is a technician a plumber? Now, the great thing about this is you can get in here and you can go ahead and any edit anything in here. So if you don't like it, you can go ahead and change it. So maybe we don't want to date. So we can go ahead and change that inside. We can also do advanced options and we can put the author's name. So when we create the questions, we'll automatically generate the author for us as well. So we'll say our author is Billy Bob. And then we just go through here and see if we like all of these. Now, if we like the answers for all of these, we can either click one and it will go ahead and create the FAQ here. You say view schema and it will have the schema all ready so that you can copy. You can also say view text and it will have the question and answer in text form. But the great thing about this is we can actually also put all of the questions here instantly, right? Now, also, if you want, you can add your own question so you can instantly generate an FAQ schema. So you could put your question. So maybe we say, what is a plumber wrench? And then you put whatever the answer is and it will automatically generate that schema for you. So let's say a plumber wrench is an old and rusty metal and rusty metal tool for pipes. So now we can go ahead and view schema and we see here at the bottom, we have the question and the answer. What is a plumber's wrench? This was entered by Billy Bob and it is an old rusty metal pipe. And it says the answer is by Billy Bob. So it's got it in there. It's built out our schema for us instantly. Now, one other great thing that we can do is say if we want to go ahead and get some more related ranking questions out there, we can also do related searches and then we can go ahead and search for other things that are out there that are ranking. So maybe emergency plumber. So we'll click emergency plumber and we'll say get questions. Every time that we get questions, it just costs one credit per search and uh, your credits, if you don't use them in the month, they roll over to the following month. So right here, we added some other ones. Are emergency plumbers more expensive? It's got an answer. What is a plumber, emer uh, what is a plumbing emergency? How long does it take for an emergency plumber to come out? So that's great. Now, how much does a roto router cost? And it tells you the average. So right here, we've got a ton of questions, whether we put them in here ourselves or we have the ranking questions in here, we can say whoever our author is and then we're able to quickly add it to our blog post in the schema. So look, what we would do is we would go ahead and put all of our questions and answers over here. We can view the text and we can copy this text and put it in our blog. So in any blog post that you have, you can put it on a page or a blog post. You have your visual editor here where you would put your content. And then if you wanted, you could actually make these H2s or, or whatever you want to do. So make it an H2 or an H1. So you have your Q and A's with your H2s and your answers. You can go into your block editor, hit plus for block, find your custom HTML block that you want to add. And then you paste in your script that you have generated. You hit update and it's ready to go. Now, if you have a classic editor, you can use SEO plugins like SEO and on the very bottom of your posts, you have the ability to manually add schema. And then you can say what type of schema, but you just click custom schema. And inside your custom schema, you paste your schema script in there. And then you can also validate that schema. So once again, that you have your FAQ schema added quickly and easily. So you are ready to rock and roll. You can go ahead and use it in any block editor. You can go ahead and stick it inside of the HTML code editor in one of the blocks. Uh, you can put it in the head text, H-E-A-D, but it's pretty amazing. It's gonna give you the opportunity to be able to rank a lot faster, rank a lot better with being able to have niche relevant FAQs for whatever keyword you are trying to rank.